Hi, welcome back to my channel. While I was away on vacation, I got two deliveries. One was the just this just cross stitch magazine, but I also got my newest subscription to Caterpillar. Caterpillar. So I thought I would do a flip through of this, and then I'll show you that in another video. So let's take the plastic off and take a look at this. Now, any of you guys that are watching me that are cross stitchers that subscribe to this will have already seen this because this came while I was on vacation and I've been home for well over a week, but I just haven't had the time to share it. All right, so we have some ads in the back. And so that's ads, we'll move that out the way. Now this is the autumn edition, which is just in time because we are in the month of September. And I am collecting these Just Cross Stitch magazines and if I ever get back to cross stitching, which I haven't done in a few weeks, maybe a month, um, there are two images in previous issues of this cross stitch magazine that I've already gotten all my supplies for. I just have to do it. So this is beautiful here. I love these fall leaves with the sunflowers. That's our cover picture. And it tells us that on the cover, it's the October issue actually, which means that the last issue I got was the August issue, which I believe I showed you on this channel. And it's under my desk here and I'm not gonna dig those out. So it says, cozy up with autumn designs, eight projects to warm up your decor, bewitching stitching, which is Halloween ornaments, and then it tells you there's our ador adorable animal, let's bring this down a little bit, ador adorable animal inspired patterns inside. So, we always have ads, every magazine, now I want to raise it just a bit, every magazine, you know, advertisements is, is what keeps that magazine going. So, so you got your table of contents, and then you have the pattern that's on the front cover. So when I turn the page, we know that, oh, you always have a letter from the editor. And you know when I turn the page, it's going to be the pattern. So we're just not going to show the pattern because I guess it's not a thing. And then we have this other fall-inspired picture, which is called Cabin with a View. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. This is the, it tells you about the pattern. Like, for example, this one would have done the same thing. It tells you what level it is. Like, let's just go here. For the for this one here, this is intermediate. Can you see that? Intermediate. It's 122 by 96, and that's the stitch count. And then it tells you the size, the material, the recommended materials, and so forth and so on. And this would include beading. This one here. So when we get to this one, we have the same thing. We have our description. It tells us. I mean, our instructions. Intermediate. 88 by 72 the design size and what materials are needed for this one so that is cabin with a view and the next page is probably the pattern and then we have a little teeny one here which is a pumpkin landscape can you see that clearly I'm hoping that my uh, camera doesn't get blurry so with pumpkin landscape this is also an intermediate 30 by 30 so quite a small project probably just a couple of days to work on it because it's an 8x8 eight eight piece and then it tells you well the design size is only two in so many inches by two like two and one eighths by two and one eighths but they recommend an eight inch piece because you're going to want a nice size border if you're going to frame this one then we have this one here autumn which is a like a it calls it a basket for a pumpkin oh wow it's a wrap. If you're into really into crafts, this warm autumn picture or um, pattern, and it's an easy one, because all it is is uh, is autumn, and it probably tells you uh, how to make it a fully finished pro project. Some ads down there, and then we have here the Celtic Fall Trio, an acorn. I'm not quite sure what that is in the middle and a fall leaf. Covers folded back. And I just love the way they the layout there. And it this one here is an also intermediate level. Most of these are intermediate, 46 by 46. And then it's um, all of the materials that they recommend. Here's your pattern. And it it breaks down the various uh, patterns 
probably in the next page or so. And then it shows this other pattern pumpkin cross stitches and there's a website called Colonial, colonialneedle.com. And so like I said, these I knew the patterns would be over there. Now, I don't celebrate Halloween, I don't celebrate any holidays, but if you do, guess what? There's a holiday issue, a Halloween issue, I should say, that is a 2022 Special Collector's Edition. So if you love cross-stitching and you enjoy Halloween, go to Annie'sCraftStore.com. Let's bring our camera down so you can see that, right? Annie'sCraftStore.com and you can get this cross-stitch Halloween issue. And I know somebody who loves Halloween, and if I know anything about her, she's probably already ordered this one. Then there's Blackwork Pumpkin. This is, says it's a plump, plump, excuse me, a plump little pumpkin cushion. So it's a perfect pin cushion. And this is intermediate. And it says it's two nine by nine pieces. So you, it's probably the top and the bottom, and then you put stuffing in the middle. I've never done any FFOs really, just a couple of minor ones. So this this pattern, this pattern here is for the top and the bottom pieces. Okay, I wish I had my other magazines in front of me, but it would be I, it would be too cum cumbersome to get them. But over the past several issues of the Just Cross Stitch magazine, this stitch along, this home sweet home sampler, has been showing. To, two more portions in each magazine so this is part five so one two three four five okay I'm not sure if it's this way or this way I'm not sure if it's this way or if it's this way but so you have two for each one and then it in the December issue this whole thing will be done and what's nice about this this is all one pattern so when I get like really back devoted to stitching this is on my agenda this whole entire home sweet home sampler so I just had to show you that so here we have another Halloween issue this is for quilters crocheters or knitters and again it's let me show you it's Annie's craft it's available now Grab it if you're interested in and like I said, I'm two weeks late showing you this, so you may already have ordered this. Another fall pattern is Fall Friends, a bird and a squirrel. And some acorns and some leaves and things of that nature. Autumn House, a pillow, small pillow. But it's not really a pillow because this looks like you can hang it up. It's probably just a pin cushion. Because I see pins in it. <laughs> So that's Autumn House. Here's one here called Cuddly Cup. Look at this little kitten. It's a little fox. I want to say kitten, but it looks more like a fox. But anyway, it has a coffee cup on it. Or hot chocolate, whichever you want to call it. Stitching before the fibers were brushed. I don't know what that means. I just don't know what that means. I'm too new at this especially after taking almost a two month break. And then here is Happy Fall Critters. This is a pillow, because before I called a pin cushion a pillow, but this is for a pillow. And then you have an ad here. And this one is Sweater Weather with a cat that I love this one. Okay, so now I have found the one that I'm doing from this magazine. And this, oh, I thought, I, I thought that was a post-it. Yeah, it is a post-it. I just want to stick a post-it in it. That's what I want to do. Put it right here. Okay, sweater weather. This is intermediate, which I'm fully comfortable with that. And, I, I, yeah, this is the one I'm going to do from this magazine. More ads. Uh-oh, page came out. That's not good magazine just got opened on camera so here's the super sleuth every little every magazine has a little cozy mystery story so that's there I will be staple this I have a flat stapler so I can fix that and then here's an Annie Bueller mini sampler here and it's a two-page pattern and can you see that good enough guys hopefully you can and then I see something here 
that gives you tells you a little bit more instruction on how to work uh, this part this is enhanced for you know instruction purposes I'll say now the other sampler I showed you was a five month or six month um, sampler this one is a bluebird quilt block sampler and I guess this completes now so I think this was six months if I'm not mistaken so I'm pretty sure this is the one here for this magazine and then these other ones are from previous issues of the magazine yes it was a six part series I just read it join us in this exciting six part features featuring eye catching quilt blocks so yeah so that's this one in this magazine here Over here we have Halloween ornaments, which is not anything I'm interested in, but if you are, let's take a look at them. you got a witch on a broom, you've got a little pumpkin thingy, then you have rest in peace, a spooky house coming for a spell. You know, I'm not against anything that's beautiful, by no means, and there's, there's your pattern for the little witch and her cat. And then you have the come for a spell one, and then this one is haunted house. And then this one is Night Full of Fright. And then this one here, Dancing Witches, is says, A trio of silhouettes joined in the merriment by the light of the moon in this adaptation for cross-stitch. And the artist is Rebecca Russell. Okay, haven't heard of her. So I don't know. It says, I thought I saw a trio, but I only see one. Oh, a trio of silhouettes. These, uh, this is your trio right here. Okay. Then we have uh, an ad for Twelve Days of Christmas, and this is more on the on the trio. And then we have product reviews in the back, and then we have the last page of every magazine or the back cover. Not the back cover, because I turned the cover inside out. Let's fix the cover first. The last page of the magazine tells you what patterns are on which pages. So, like, for example, if I didn't highlight, uh, put a post-it on that cat, I can look here and quickly know that it's on page 33. And then there's your back cover. So there you have the October issue of the Just Cross Stitch magazine, Again, I know I'm two weeks late since other people have already gotten theirs, but this is my channel, and I thought I'd show you this as a flip-through. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.